to Barclays Center and bring in Michael Grady. Michael, you were on that call with Kevin Durant on Monday with the media. What else stood out to you about what KD had to say? First off, good to be on with you and Coos. Miss you guys. Wish you were here. You know, it was a great conversation with Kevin Durant. He was asked whether or not he's going to get amped up given the fact that he's facing his former team in the Golden State Warriors. And this is something that Sarah pointed out earlier. He said, no, the game of basketball alone gets him amped up for these kind of games. And when you consider his talent and what he's been able to accomplish over the course of his career, it really speaks to that. Now, for anybody curious what he did in his first game against Oklahoma City as a member of the Golden State Warriors, he just dropped a cool 39 points on him but that's just Kevin being Kevin he is an equal opportunity head buster anybody can get it and that is a great weapon for Steve Nash to have at his disposal heading into his first game as an NBA head coach embarking on this journey 18 seasons in the NBA a Hall of Famer going back to 2018, a two-time MVP, 10,335 assists, which is third all-time, a career free throw percentage of 90.4%, which is second all-time behind Steph Curry, and he is the 23rd head coach in franchise history. Earlier, I caught up with Steve Nash and asked him the differences between taking the court as a player versus as a head coach. It is different, you know. Um similar in some respects and that you still have nerves and anxiety and you want it to go well and all those things that I had as a player. Um, but as a coach, you know, it's a different rhythm. You know, you're trying to prepare your team, prepare for the night, uh, but you're not playing. So you have a different touch points to the game, different effect on the game. And uh, you're really just trying to put yourself and your, your staff in a position to, to help the team reach their best level and, and adapt and adjust to the needs of the game. So it's different, but there are some similarities in that you, you have that performance anxiety and want everything to go well. Kerr is nothing but glowing things to say about his time working with you with your time there as a consultant. How unique is this night uh, for your first game as head coach to be against Steve Kerr in this franchise that you developed a, a great bond with? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of special people over there that are very, very close and important people in my life. Uh, you know, the coaching staff, uh, you know, my, my, my three-year-old's godson is the head of sports medicine for the Warriors. Uh, you know, Rick Welts, uh, so many people in that organization mean a lot. So to, to actually coach for the first time against the Warriors is a little bit surreal, and uh, especially against someone like Steve, who I've learned so much from. Um, but, um, my coaching style is heavily influenced by Steve. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it is, it's special, it's strange, surreal, and, uh, it's a pleasure to get to, to get to actually do this against all those great people over there that I admire greatly. But you've talked recently about your teams, your team needing to take a punch. And could you expound on that and the importance of dealing with and going through adversity? Sure. I mean, I, th I think it's, it's straightforward. I mean, you championship teams, they don't walk through to win a title. They're the team that, that hangs in there in their darkest moments better than the other teams. They're the team that's able to get up off the mat. They're the team that responds to adversity time and time again uh, with the most uh, efficiency and, and togetherness. So that's something you can't manufacture without playing. You know, you can't recreate that in practice. You have to go through those times when the lights are on and the pressure and spotlight is the greatest. And and, and, and go through those struggles and bounce back and, and figure out how you're going to approach yeah. those moments. Well, that's a, just a part of team building and, and the process that, that you can't recreate. So now we start and we get to go through that process for real. And I think it's a really important step for us. Last thing for you, game number one, what are you looking forward to seeing from your team tonight in order to be successful? You know, as always, uh, competitive spirit, connectivity, um, and sticking to our principles. You know, if they do that, they give themselves a chance to win every night. Good stuff with Steve Nash there. Now, it has been, you know, we haven't had the same access that we've had in years past due to COVID for sure, but it has been great observing Steve Nash and watching the way that he interacts with these players. And I've talked to a number of the guys. They all say that he has been a tremendous communicator and he is soaking everything in, which is something that Steve Kerr at a press conference yesterday said that that was a bit of advice that he gave to Steve Nash was just to soak everything in. He's done a tremendous job in this condensed training camp and just those two preseason games. Now, Speaking of some